Chief? Chief, can you hear me? Alright. Welcome back to Let's Play Halo. This is the second level. This is just simply titled Halo. Titled so because we're actually now on the Halo ring and you can look up and see this. A lot of people seem to like this mission a lot. I personally find it overrated. I'm pretty sure that a Banshee takes 24 shots to kill with the pistol. I don't know quite how accurate that is, and I'm only doing this so I can get the achievement before it flies. Okay, it's already flying away. I don't care anymore. We missed out. Alright, so... I kind of feel like this mission is a bit overrated, personally. It's still a fun mission, and I still have fun playing it, but to me it's just kind of a chore. And maybe that's just because I'm starting to feel that a lot of Halo 1 is becoming a chore whenever I go and play it. A lot of people have told me that I jump way too much when I play. I don't know. My brain just reads jumping as making you go like point zero zero one second faster or whatever. You know? Ooh. That did not go the way it was supposed to. There's Johnson, but Johnson is not a story character in this game, so he can die. And if you've played this mission on Legendary, he probably already has. I'm gonna grab a health pack. And then we're gonna come to the second dropship. I'm gonna try and stick him as he comes out. Oh, there's just one elite? I'm, I'm used to Legendary where there's like three. No, we don't. If they all die, then we don't care about saving them because they're all dead. Alright, they're starting to bother me. Alright. Because now we're going to miss this one. I'm pretty sure there are seven in total. I missed. Got him. Once again, the first grenade kills him. I'm only using it because I have it. Got a backpack reload. One thing I do like about this mission is just like the, I won't say the graphical style, but like just the environment in general is really nice to look at. I got on the wrong side. You know, like this, even though like, it does kind of feel like a chore, this mission to me just like screams Halo. Like when I think about Halo 1, I think of this mission quite a bit actually. Jesus, I really need to grab a plasma pistol so I can... I'm 
really late to this dropship, so I'm just gonna throw some grenades out and hopefully someone dies. That second grenade did nothing, that was way too close. Once again, I'm a little late to the party, so let me, uh... This douche. Okay, there are six. Yeah, I don't know. There's just something, like, this mission, I think, this mission and the silent cartographer, to me, just, like, scream Halo. You know? Like, these are the missions that, that you think of. And maybe it's because if you look at, like, the game's cover art and whatnot, and the images on the back, a lot of them feature this level or this type of this type of, you know, like, grassy landscape. So now we have the Warthog, which is very cool. And we're gonna go and explore the inner workings of Halo. You're supposed to go around here, but like, that's so lame and slow, and I'm about to tip over. Okay, I saved it. So then, just straighten out. You can make that jump. That was a little sloppy, actually. But yeah, you can make that jump. Some terrible driving. So you're supposed to go up that ramp over there, but here's actually a tip I learned: is you can do this instead. So you're gonna park the warthog pretty close to it. And then we're gonna jump on top of the turret dude. And we're gonna climb up here. And then the switch we have to hit is right here. It's way faster. This guy's pissing me off. Normally you're supposed to throw a grenade there to, to, to prevent him from doing any damage like that, but it's normal, who cares? Like, is this, real, is this really a threat right now? Oh, that's some sloppy driving right there. That was the horrible. I'm pretty sure I killed my Marine. Oh, God. I might even redo this. I hope, who cares? I'll grab fresh Marines later. All right. So now we're gonna head outside. It's all light and colorful again. Or coming out. Some more sloppy driving. Alright. So now we have to find three different groups of Marines. I'm gonna do them in the order that I normally do them in. There is a slightly faster method that you can do, but it's not really necessary. First one is up here. This is... Is this the rock side or the cliff side? I'm pretty sure this is the rock side. Yeah. So yeah, so don't slide in into rocks or trees, not good. 
Oh yeah, I forgot, I have no gunner. Wow, awkward. Oh, let's go get a gunner. Ah, uh, who cares? I mean, not park the warthog this far away, but I'm just gonna take him on myself, on foot. Who cares? Whoever sniped, yo, that dude is the realist. I think that's the first time a Marine's actually hit something before. Did they kill him? Yo. Crazy. Now can we line this up? Mm, kinda. That wasn't like the worst job. Yeah, you can drive through the thing, which is really weird, and don't ask me why you can do it, but you can. So the fast strategy, the speedrunner strategy, is to actually kill all the marines. And then go to the next section, kill all those marines, and then go to the third section, and then take out all the enemies to drop foe hammer. And there's a certain order. I don't remember. I believe this one you do second. And I'm totally just... Like, I don't give a fuck. And I probably should before I die. Jesus Christ. I'm gonna fucking die. I'm gonna fucking die. Let me grab a health pack. Oh, and a sniper. That'll come in handy. How blind am I? I think that's the last wave. Don't quote me, there might be one. Yeah, let's get us one more. Okay, that's the last one. Right? Okay, yeah. There's no horn, unfortunately, otherwise I would totally uh, honk for a, a gunner, but I'm gonna hopefully grab one. Hey, dumb ho. Oh. Yeah, because that's how physics work. Alright, this clearly isn't doing me any favors.
That's how you drive. Let's get out this way. Jesus. Alright. One of you get in here. Two of you get in here. level is taking significantly longer than I'd like it to. Alright. So I think that's actually the, 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 the last group. So let me... Is this the group that, that we just did? Okay, yeah, this is where we just came from. We came out this side, which... I don't know if we did that or what, but that was pretty cool. Is this... Is this the head of the river? I think... Yeah, okay. Other one. game feels bad for me now. Okay, yeah, uh, this is the one that we normally do last, this structure. Which, this structure is the easiest just because it's just, uh, after all, after, I think all, all the enemies die, then she calls in for evac. I don't know if it's all or if it's, if it's a, a majority or or what, but this one you do last because you don't have to wait for wave after wave. You just clear out all, all the enemies as fast as you can, which is pretty nice. I'm gonna get out actually. Okay, forgive me. No sense in backpack reloading when both your guns have no ammo. Okay. Let me grab this health pack real quick. Alright. Let's grab the last lifeboat. Which we kind of accidentally hit before. And that jackal was totally not going to be my friend. Yeah, I, I came here by accident, but this is... Where we're supposed to go. So, park right around here, leave your marines with plenty of work to do, we're gonna come in here and this is like a classic part of Halo if you watch the E3 or uh, the Macro conference from uh, 99, not like obviously the game was way different back in 99 but this specific uh, map has basically been a key staple of the game throughout the years. You 
know, this specific map. I don't remember, like, where exactly the elites were posted up and, you know, where a chief would be and, you know, but this specific, like, island sort of, um, cliffside, I guess not an island, but, you know, this, oh my god, you fucking grunt. Oh, that, well, that, that's awkward. I can't be held responsible for that. Well, that was a horrible grenade throw. Ooh, two duds. Horrible. Is that... again. Oh, there's enemies over here. That's why. This is one of the parts that makes me like this mission to a certain degree. Have all my marines except for these two died? How many of them died from my grenades? That's a real question. Oh, like they were like up there somewhere, you know. And then this whole again, this whole map is pretty much been a staple of. Halo 1's development cycle, which is most likely why I like it so much. I don't know where the, where, where is everybody? Didn't land as closely as I would like. Weird thing about Halo 1 is if you crouch when you land, you, uh, oh wow, that was, that's lame. We didn't even like. That's really late. Oh shit. That's not good. Oh god damn it. I'm killing myself. Yeah. That was really awkward. Sad. Anyway, yeah, if you crouch when you land, you take no damage. You gotta, like, crouch at the very end of your fall. It has to be, like, like perfect, perfect, but, you know. If you do it right, take no damage. Uh, it will not prevent you from dying. So you'll take no damage, but you die. So it doesn't do you any real favors. That's the end of the Halo mission. There's our ride. Get aboard. Let's get out of here. Welcome aboard, Sissy. Ready for dust off. We should move out, Lieutenant, and then we'll need your help on a rescue.